everyone welcome to eat good tv we welcome you all to this channel and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for all my upcoming videos today we have a special here for you it's our jamaican escovitch fish and here are the ingredients that we need the fish is the star of the show so we have our fish here we have our pimento seed some people call it allspice we have a little sugar here just about a tablespoon of sugar we have salt here we have our mix mix season here this is black pepper years ago they would just put salt and black pepper inside the fish but now you do have a lot of different season so i have garlic powder onion powder i put everything in the description box for you this we put inside of the fish we have our julian carrot here so you just slice it carrot lengthwise and we have our assaulted bell, bell pepper here we have orange we have green we have red and we have yellow bell peppers i use two different onions i use the red onion and the white onion and i just open them like this you just open them in onion rings so you're just gonna open them in rings and this is for the escovitch sauce so we're gonna fry the fish first then we make this sauce after good recipe great recipes you're gonna love it because they're very delicious recipe you're gonna love everything here so let me put the the season this inside of the fish now this goes inside of the fish So you season inside and you season outside. Then if you want to slice your fish, you slice it. You could put a slice here and a little slice there. And I let it marinate for 30 minutes. I just leave it right here on the board to marinate for 30 minutes. So all this season can get inside of it. And you season all inside of the head too. Because some people like the head. And I hope everybody out there is doing good and having a great time and staying safe. And I just leave it here for the 30 minutes. When I'm frying meat, I like to flavor my oil with some scallion, some scotch bonnet, some garlic, and some onion. So I'm just flavoring the pot so all that goodness can go through the fish. Remove, you're gonna remove this from the pot before you add the fish. And this gives the pot a good seasoning so your fish is gonna taste very, very good. All the flavor from the oil is gonna go into the fish. Gonna give the fish a nice taste. Now that the fish is marinated, just add it to the pot. And the hot is the oil is hot. You always have to make sure that the oil is hot. Add a piece of scotch bonnet to your to the pot. I just add this to give it a nice flavor. When the fish is golden on one side, just flip it over to the next side. Flip the fish on the other side. I'm just flipping the fish over. And the 
just to ensure it's not stick. And when the next side is finished, just remove them from the pot. When you're frying your fish, make sure there's space between the fish so that they don't join together. When you're frying the fish, you have space between the fish. Remove your fish from the pot. We are gonna make our escovite sauce now. So first I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the oil that fry the fish. Because the oil that fry the fish have a lot of season was on the fish so it have that flavor. Have a lot of flavor in it. And I'm gonna add um, one cup of vinegar. And place your carrot in the pot because the carrot take a little longer time to cook. It's gonna be crunchy, but you want it to cook up a little. Add the onion next. Next come the bell peppers, the assorted bell pepper next. See the carrot is still nice and crunchy. It's like a minute or two minutes. And this is all spice. We just add some all spice, the grain to it. Or you can grind it or crush it. And this is a little sugar. I'm not gonna put I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon. That's it. That's it for me, but you can put a tablespoon. And just a pinch of salt and some complete seasoning. And this is about a tablespoon of complete seasoning. I'm big on flavor. I just like when things taste good. So that's a tablespoon of the season to season the sauce. I'm just gonna add a small amount of vinegar, some more vinegar. So that's about, about a cup and a half of vinegar. Just, I just finished the bottle. And you can use any vinegar of your choice. Add a half of scotch bonnet, remove the seed. But if you like pepper, you can add the whole scotch bonnet pepper in, in here. But I just put a half of it because I don't like too much pepper. And there you have it, your escovitch sauce. I'm just going to put it on the fish. Place your delicious escovitch sauce on top of the fish. But do not cover the fish head and the fish tail. Because you want a great presentation. And you want to see what's in your dish. So we are just going to cover the middle of it with all this deliciousness, all this goodness. And you just pour the sauce over the fish. And all the fish. I'm not pouring it for you to see it, okay? Just put the juice over the fish. All the juice, you put on all the fishes. And just cover the middle of the fish. And 
and just leave the tail so you can see the fish. And this make a great presentation. When you have it like this, you can see the fish. Here you have it family, your Escovitch fish. Bye from Eat Good TV. Wish you all the best. Love you. Bye.